greeting and welcome all on behalf of Nimi Chennai. I am G. Rajeshwarna from NSTI Chennai. Our today's class topic is Personal Protective Equipment PPEs. Let us see the hazards and the respective personal protective equipment and their uses. Type of protection, head protection. The hazards can be falling objects from height, striking against objects on head or spatter the head. The type of PPE to be used is helmet. Safety helmet act as the first line of defense against head injury but they only work when they are worn correctly. Safety helmets are designed to protect the head against falling objects from height. Second type of protection is food protection. The hazards due to hot spatters, falling objects from heights and working on wet areas. The type of PPE to be used is industrial safety shoe or boot. Shoes are designed to provide protection from injuries occur due to objects like stones and sharp nails piercing on feet or falling off heavy objects on the feet or careless use of heavy duty constructional equipment and vehicles or sprains and fractures due to slips and falls or electric risks and chemical spills. Next protection is nose protection. The hazards are due to dust particles or inhaling fumes, gases, vapors. The type of PPE to be used is nose mask. Respiratory protection equipment is used to protect the individual wearer against the inhalation of hazardous substances in the workplace air. Next type of protection is hand protection. The hazards are due to heat burns due to direct contact, blows, sparks, moderate heat or electric shock. The type of PPE to be used is hand gloves. It is important to wear gloves when working with hazardous chemicals and other infectious materials because they protect our hands from infections and contamination. Protective gloves should be selected on the basis of the hazards involved. For example, nitrile gloves protect against most chemicals and infectious agent. Rubber gloves protect against mild corrosive material. Neoprene gloves protect against most solvents, oils and mild corrosive materials. Next type of protection is eye protection. The main hazards are flying dust particles, or UV rays, or IR rays, heat and high amount of visible radiation. The PPE to be used is goggles, face shield, head shield or hand shield. Eye injuries can be caused by direct contact with the chemicals or other hazardous materials. Workers are required to wear the eye protection at all the times when working with hazardous materials. Next type of protection is face protection. The hazards are, I repeat, the hazards are Spark generated during welding or grinding, or welding spatter strikings, or face protection for UV rays. The type of PPE to be used are hand screen or face shield, head shield with or without ear muff, helmets with a screen for welders. Hand screen held in hand to provide protection to eyes, ears, face, neck and part of the top of the head during welding or grinding and cutting process. Next protection is ear protection. The hazard is mainly due to high noise level. The type of PPE to be used are 
head shield with ear muff or ear plug or ear muff hearing protection devices reduce the noisy energy reaching and causing damage to the inner ear ear muffs and ear plugs are the most common type of ppe for ear protection next type of protection is body protection the hazards are due to hot particles or chemical spills type of ppe to be used are afron body guard overalls splash suits and full body suits it should be fire resistant and it should protect against dust abrasions rough and irritating surfaces and it should adapt well to changing temperatures it helps to withstand dry heat and flames it works against chemical and physical hazards now what we are going to see is the selection of ppe the selection of ppe depends upon the nature and severity of the hazards at workplaces type of contaminant its concentration and location of contaminated area with respect to the source of respirable air and expected activity of workman and duration of work comfort of workman when using the ppe it also operating characteristics and limitations of ppe it also depends upon the ease of maintenance and cleaning of ppe conformity to indian or international standards and availability of test certificates next what we are going to see is the proper use of ppes having selected the proper type of ppe it is essential that the workman wears it often the workman avoids using ppe the following factors influences the solution to this problem first point the extent to which the workman understands the necessity of using ppe the best solution to this problem is to make wearing of ppe mandatory for every employee in other places education and supervision need to be intensified when a group of workmen are issued ppe for the first time summarizingly we can say like this the personal protective equipment ppe is designed to provide protection against serious hazards or illness so careful selection and proper use of adequate ppe will protect an individual from serious hazards so i hope now you all understand the ppes and the purpose of ppe the categories of ppe and selection and proper use of personal protective equipment thank you and see you all in our next class